What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released a update that's kind of good news and bad news. So we're going to get into it right now. The name of this update is called April Update News and Beyond. Brought to us by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager at Void Interactive. She goes on to say, Howdy gamers, we have some news regarding when you can expect the next content update, as well as what it will contain. Read about it here. It starts out with saying, To the Ready or Not community, the March update has been live for over three weeks now, and we know you're all looking forward to hearing what you can expect from the game in the near future. The team has been hard at work putting together new content and mechanics, ranging from new weapons and maps to advanced suspect behavior and loadout selections. Unfortunately, with an update of this size, we need more time to get things together than usual. We will not be able to release our next major content update this month. We are currently targeting mid-May for the release of what will be our largest content update yet and will be high highlighting what it includes in the coming weeks. So, uh, one thing that I appreciate about this is that they're actually, you know, telling us ahead of time before the month is out, because in the past, they'd literally tell us either the day of or like a week after. So this I appreciate, but uh, anyways, moving on. Some of the major additions that you'll see in May are the new SWAT weapons, the MP9, MP5A3, and the MP5 10mm submachine guns, as well as the B1303 shotgun that will become available for all players. Yeah, this is a bunch of weapons that we talked about in a previous video. I'm debating on whether or not I want to put the clips of the guns that they've shown off in the past in this video, but that would require me going and finding them, and I don't know how lazy I'm going to be with the editing here. <laughs> but anyways, the next one is the new supporter weapon skins, the Entryman B1301 shotgun, and the Defender G19 weapon skins will be available for owners of the supporter edition. Yes, they are enticing people who bought the supporter, which I should probably make a list of the things that they're adding because I just keep forgetting what, what they've added so far. I know they added like a new uh, automatic rifle, but I forget which one it was. Here's another thing that you should do to entice people to buy the supporter. Make it so that you're able to reload the shotgun from that side rail or, or whatever it's called. I forget. I really like that you were able to do that in the past, but I feel like this should be like a supporter edition sort of deal. That would definitely make it more worth it if you could do that. But anyways, the next one here is updated SWAT gear. Ooh, this sounds new. New armor and equipment variations based on critique from our our police advisors. Oh, they're still using police advisors? Interesting. Can't wait to see what those look like. Moving on. Ammo type selection. Oh, cool. You will be able to determine what ammo your weapon uses to better fit each missions and each squad. Uh, I wonder what selection they're going to have because if it's just like AP ammo or FMJ, I, I feel like a lot of people are going to use AP ammo. I remember them adding like different types of ammo in the past, but the one that they didn't add was AP ammo because they felt that it was just like, you know, overpowering and everybody's just gonna use AP no matter what. Like, why would you use any other ammo, right? So I, I wonder if they're gonna keep AP or not put it in there. Just a thought. But anyways, the next one is armor plate selection. Oh, that's new, I think. Players will gain access to more advanced armor options and suspects will utilize them in game. Cool, cool, cool. It's gonna take a lot more bullets to take down these guys, I'll tell you what. It's gonna be like Escape from Tarkov, especially if they don't actually add in the AP ammo. The next one is new loadout UI. I just hope they don't mess it up because the first, I remember the first one that they had, I I really hated the first one like it just wasn't that good I remember if I remember correctly it was actually just like um, you would hover over your mouse to wherever a body part was and then you'd use the scroll wheel to like go back and forth and it just felt really tedious and awkward compared to what I played at DreamHack which the one that I played at DreamHack was more like um, like a swap four type of menu screen I actually preferred the one at DreamHack compared to the one that was going on during the multiplayer phase and then I kind of gave them the uh, suggestion of putting a box on the side and just having everything in that box while you have the animations playing out on the right side. And that's pretty much what they did. Turned out to be a much better system than whenever they had during the multiplayer phase. I liked it better when they had like a, you know, the box idea, but it does kind of look like it's just like tacked on. They could definitely do better. But anyways, moving on. Suspect cover system. Suspects will utilize cover when preparing for and engaging SWAT. No more standing around in the open. Oh, thank God. Now Void Interactive will actually be able to make trailers where they don't make AI just standing in the middle of rooms. The AI AI is actually going to do something. Now, he here's a question. I noticed that there was like a bunch of AI that were like hiding underneath 
uh, pool tables and tables. Like, how are you gonna get them to get out? Like, are they actually gonna do an animation where you tell them to get out from under there? Or do you just like cuff them while they're underneath the table or something? I wonder how that's gonna work out. Also, is it gonna be like zero hour where suspects are gonna be able to hide under tables too and shoot at us? That's gonna be interesting. Well, anyways. Oh, and look, we're about to talk about this in the next one right here. The next one is suspect hiding places. Suspects will hide from the player in a variety of places from inside closets to under beds. Keep your head on a swivel. Oh, inside closets? I remember them having in the old maps, the NDA maps, they actually had closets that you can open up, but we weren't really sure what the purpose of them were for. I assume that, you know, it would be where one of the little kids was hiding, but they never really got used. But if they're going to be for civilians and suspects, man, that's going to be crazy trying to open up every nook and cranny. I mean, the only time that they featured it was in like the old gas station that we used to play. Man, I miss that gas station. I liked it better than the newer one, if I'm being honest. But yeah, if they're going to do it in a variety of places, then like not only could they hide in like lockers, but they could also hide in the kitchen counters or a bathtub or closets. Maybe we have suspects that are hiding just to hide. They won't actually attack you. They'll just stay there. The coast is clear. Get creative, guys. Come on now. But it's definitely a good start in the right direction. Uh, but anyways, updated animation move sets. SWAT suspects and civilians are all having their movements updated. For SWAT, this means more fluidity and weight. For suspects and civilians, it means variations based on their background and current situation. Interesting. We're gonna have to see how that looks. Voiceover variety. A massive amount of new voice acting for existing and new characters. I mean, if you need some uh, voice actors, I can help you out with that, you know what I mean? But anyways, new level and level updates. Substantial updates to Valley and Club, as well as new test level Ridgeline. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, forest level that they've been teasing. The one with the cabin. That definitely looks like a fun map to play in. Dope. It's gonna be like three different new maps, I'd say. And the last but not least, we have bug fixes. A swath of bug fixes, including tweaks to grenade launchers and nine bangs, and much, much more to come down the line, which they're probably not gonna tell us because almost every update, they usually have like one little secret that they don't tell you, it seems. And that seems to be the end of this current update. So what are your thoughts? Sure, this uh, update is getting delayed, unfortunately. They had said that the big update was supposed to be coming in April, but that does not appear to be happening, which kind of sucks, but you know, that's just kind of how development goes sometimes. These guys have like delayed the game before, so I really wouldn't see them stopping it now, but as long as they're actually working on it, I, I guess I'm okay with it. But what are your guys' thoughts? Maybe you're okay with it, but you kind of wish that they would bring more to the game? Maybe what they're talking about isn't enough? You let me know in the comments below because we're going to push on to one more thing before I end the video. This actually came out about a day after the update. I'm kind of glad I waited. But yeah, Void Interactive ended up releasing some uh, mini dev updates, which I usually cover on the channel every now and then, but I thought that I would just post them here just to extend the video. Hey man, gotta keep the channel running somehow. But anyways, this first picture here has a little description that says, while we chew away at the massive amount of features for the next update, we've also been going over existing assets to improve their aesthetic on the side. Check out some of the cool works on our SWAT helmets for the HRT to come. And then we've got, um, I forget what it's called, I think it says right here, the IR Red will appear under nods. Yeah, this is something that ground branch has and now it seems like ready or not is gonna get them too pretty cool and then they posted another picture one more for the road and this is what the new uniform is gonna look like i assume honestly i kind of wish that they would actually give us an option between the older one and this current one because i don't like it when they you know update things and then we don't get the same that we had before but i guess it's cool that we're getting newer stuff you know it says here see old armor layout will be replaced which i think is kind of unfortunate because i actually do like the way that the current one looks i was just kind of hoping that we could get like the old one and this one at the same time but maybe i'm just misinterpreting all of this i didn't quite understand what they were telling me when i first read this but maybe someone who's read this could actually simplify it for me i'm a little slow on the uptake but uh yeah that's pretty much all i got to say about this the uptake was relatively yeah i wouldn't say that it was short it's relatively big but yeah that pretty much does it for the update so uh i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like radio now then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye